On Tuesday, Alan Sewanyana and Muhammad Segrinya, the National Unity Platform MPs charged with murder and terrorism, were committed to the High Court upon completion of investigations into the alleged crimes. According to the summary of evidence presented before Magistrate Christine Nantege, the MPs and their co-accused were due to start trial in the High Court. However, there was no date slated for the commencement of trial. Jameson Karimani, the Judiciary Public Relations Officer, explains why. So the case has been sent to the High Court for hearing. Now the High Court is supposed to plan and see when it can be able to handle that case. Karimani says that there are conditions that can call for special sessions to expeditiously dispense with the case. Now a special session can be conducted if uh, the accused person, one, is a juvenile, two, is an elderly, three, uh, is, 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 is very ill. Arias Lukwago, one of the accused MP's lawyers, says that given the poor state of his client's health, there should be no debate about the need for a speedy trial. We also put in fresh bail applications which are yet to be fixed, so we are pushing for all those matters. But as we do that, we want also now to embark on the process of pushing for an expeditious hearing of this case so that justice is done. Lukwago also claims that prosecution never provided them with the evidence they collected to enable them prepare for defense as required by law. Now as lawyers we are left in this array. We don't know where to start from. All these wide allegations are not backed up with the evidence they are talking about. Not even the police statement, despite the fact that court ordered that we should be availed this information, they have stubbornly refused. For Lukwago, this could be politically motivated. Nevertheless, the legislator's legal team is set to batter it out in high court and they are optimistic that their clients will prove their innocence. Solomon Kawesa, NTV.